for a very long time, I was completely against keto. I saw it as a catch-all diet for those people who had caught on to what was essentially a fad. But what is the truth behind keto and how does it work? Firstly, I won't prescribe it to absolutely anybody at all. It can be a quick fix, but it doesn't teach you how to manage your lifestyle. And in all the years that I've been training, I've only ever recommended it to two people. Now, why does keto work? And why do people, particularly when they're obese, really struggle to lose weight even when they're in a calorie deficit? And it has a lot to do with insulin. In people who are very, very large, obese people, and those people who are pre-diabetic or indeed diabetic, insulin levels are really high. That's one of the hormones in the body that helps to regulate uh, how energy is taken out of food and how the body burns energy. A normal body bodily function will reduce your insulin after you've eaten. Somebody who is insulin resistant, pre-diabetic to people like that, that insulin will often stay high. And that will stop the body from burning fat. All the body will do then is simply get energy sources from the carbs that you're eating. If we deprive the body of those carbs, then the body will start to burn fat. Now this is often used as an excuse for people. Oh, I've been, I have been in a calorie deficit. There must be, I must be diabetic. You must have something to do with it. That is not true. The vast majority of people who believe they're actually in a deficit aren't. And that's why I will explore every other option first before I tell people to become, to look at keto as an option because it is not easy. The results are very good, but trust me, it's not easy. You cannot be a little bit in keto. It is a lifestyle until you have lost the weight. Now, what we can do is counter or counter the amount of insulin in the body by producing cortisol. And we produce that through training. We can produce it by putting stress on our bodies. And again, this is a big conversation in relation to how hormones work with each other. However, what we need to do, make sure is two things. One, we are in a calorie deficit for a prolonged period of time before we start looking at any kind of diabetes, any kind of keto. I'll be asking you to go to the doctors and get blood tests to see where you are uh, with your different hormone levels. So when you see people who are on keto within this gym, please do not take it as a free for all. It has been clear, very carefully considered over a period of time. Those of you who are on it, those of you who are, uh, who I am talking to about doing it, just be assured that I genuinely believe that is the only way at this period of time how you are going to hit your goals.